Hello everyone, this is episode 2 of React Crash Course. Okay, in the previous video, we found out and we learned how to create our first React project. But in this video, we are going to learn how to work with components, which is a significant thing and skill to learn in React. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, um, I'm already having a project running right now and to start it, I'm going to have to type in this command. Whenever you need to run your uh, project on a server, just type npm start, which is from node. And to do that, you got to have node installed. Okay, and then one other thing before we move forward, you're going to have to go into your um, extensions and then make sure that ES7 is is installed, okay? Because this is going to help you with a lot of snippets, you know, to make your productivity faster. And then one other thing to give you a roundup of how it works. This is how this is the project we're having right now. So don't worry about all this. This is so complex and you may not need to know this right now. But at the moment, just focus on components. So when you create your first project, it's going to be having a source folder and a bunch of files in here. All you need right now is the index fold in the index file, app file, and the app.css file. You could may as well delete the other files that you may find in the source folder. And then go ahead and create a components folder within the source file. Name it components. And I'll tell you why. Because React works with modules. Okay? Modules help you as a programmer to make your life easier because when you solve a module by a module it helps you to make the project simpler to solve and then before you move on to the bigger stuff okay and in react modules can be called components so as you can see right now i have a whole header component and whenever you create a component, remember this, you need to export it and then import it in the app.js file. And then this app.js file is normally because when you create your first React app, everything is going to be made for you. It's always rendered inside the index.js file. But don't worry about this right now, okay? So today we're focusing about the components. Let's not get into this. So I'm going to create a class in here and I'm going to name it test, just testing dot, um, you know, you can name it anything you want. And I'm going to give it a color of white and then a padding of five and then, a, you know, position absolute. Oh, we may not. I want to give you the best experience. So I'm just going to you know, cut all this. But remember, I'll bring that back and you will see why. Okay, then I'm going to get into the components folder, then create a file and I'll name it test.js. And then um, remember that snippet that we installed, it's going to come in handy right here. And then that's how you always choose um, react arrow function and then export because we always need to export it. And then it's going to be, you know, auto completed for you. Basically, what's going on here? What's going on here? This is, you know, importing React from e React because we're importing the libraries and then a function which we are calling test and then an arrow function which is going to be returning whatever is in here. Whatever is in here is basically HTML. The same things you've been learning all along. So, what are we going to do? Before we move forward, always navigate down here. You see where there is JavaScript? Click on it and then type in React so that it's activated. Why? Because React helps you to embed HTML and JavaScript at the same time. So this is HTML which is embedded into the return function. Um, and then uh, what are we going to include here? 
it's gonna help you autocomplete whatever that's standing uh whatever you type in uh which is basic html so and then we're gonna call this hello save that and then get into uh you may as well call give this division a class name uh which was let's see what was the name just testing then get into here that's the name we're giving it then get into the apple js folder and then the last thing we need is to import you know test uh from te from components you see that's the comp uh, components folder that we made then the test then when you hover over here it's gonna say it's declared but not used how are we gonna use it just come over here and then include it remember to close and that's it for your see how it is over here uh -huh. and you may be wondering why it's you know hovering and turning onto that because of the css i had made it to hover over but if you see when i take that out you know nothing is happening but if i replace it this is basic html uh, i mean css3 that we've been using that if you position this to absolute and then put it at the top give it like five percent mm -hmm. mm. okay where did it go um, it is over here that it should be up there because we had not ref uh, refreshed it and then when you hover it's happening over there and then we could give it the font size you know you can play around with all these um see whatever that's you know suiting you there we go basically this is how we use components i hope you've learned something in here and i hope you can now understand how components work and you can later develop bigger projects like this okay stay safe and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get more exclusive content like this ciao